talking about my updated EDC for 2018. It's a new year, um, I just haven't had the chance to film this video yet, but here it is. Uh, this is what I've been carrying for about the past two, three months maybe. Um, and uh, this is what, this is kind of my winter EDC. Uh, in summer I go a little bit lighter, uh, but I've been carrying this and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so if the, sorry, I'm, I'm right by the road, so if there's car sounds or honking or anything like that, that's, that's why. Um, so, here we go. So, um, I, the reason I'm including the hat and the cup in an EDC is because I think a hat and a cup are kind of vital to EDC. If you wear a hat every day, that should be in your EDC. Most people include hydro flasks in their EDC. Um, so I thought I'd include the, you know, the mug I carry and then all my, all my normal stuff that goes in my pockets. So, first thing. Uh, I have a card hard hat. I got this at Big Five. It was like 20 bucks. Um, I love the feel of it, the look of it. Anything made by Card Hard is really, really good. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed uh, wearing it. Um, I don't even know what size it is, but yeah. So, really nice hat. I like the Car Hard brand. And then uh, I also have uh, their mug. Uh, this is when they kind of co designed with, uh, with Stanley. Stanley uh, makes like all the, you know, they make um, like like thermoses um, for soups and hot beverages and cold beverages. I think this thing can keep uh, a beverage cold for like 12 hours and warm for nine. Uh, I've made my coffee at like eight in the morning, went to work and around four or five-ish, it's still warm. So um, that is, you know, this thing keeps drinks cool for a long ass time. It's like insulated and all that stuff. So I always have this on me. Uh, if I'm drinking water or drinking coffee, uh, I always have my mug on me. So it's, uh, it's, it's you know, it's in my car or my person, either one. Um, so there's that. Um, nothing special about the phone. Uh, I have an iPhone 8 Plus, which I'm filming on right now. And then in it, or uh, I, and then uh, for the case, I had the uh, Magpul Field case. I love these cases. They are super good quality. Um, you know, made in the USA. Uh, Magpul is a, uh, um, a gun brand company, and they make phone cases and wallets for, you know, EDC use. And this thing is just super, uh, it's like a durable plastic, but it's still easy to take on and off the phone. And I got it in the gray, so it looks really, really freaking cool. Um, so it's just a great case, but, you know, Nothing special about the iPhone. Everybody knows what my iPhone is, so um, I shouldn't have to talk in you know in detail about that. Um, I do have a Leatherman. Uh, this is my Leatherman Wave. Um, when I am at work, this is on my uh, on my belt in its sheath. And then if I'm just going around, uh, if I'm just going around town, I carry it with its pocket clip. And the pocket clip is removable, um, so you don't have to have it on there at all times. But I just keep it on there in case I do have to take my sheath or my belt off. I can carry it um, with the pocket clip. So, um, dang it, I can't, I'm looking through the camera, that's why I'm stumbling so much, but yeah. So, um, and then that stays in its sheath. The sheath's pretty good quality. Uh, the Velcro's, you know, hold up pretty well. Um, I've had a Leatherman Wave for a while. Um, I've been really enjoying it. So, uh, my favorite part about it is at work, because uh, I, what I really love about the Leatherman Wave sheath is you can carry it horizontally. So that's how I carry it. I carry it horizontally um, on my belt, and then when I need it, I just pull it out like this and it's ready to go, and I can easily access my blade and all my other stuff like that. Uh, I don't carry a secondary pocket knife because the Leatherman Wave has plenty strong blades. Uh, the blades are super, super thick, and uh, you have a serrated and a straight edge one. So this thing can handle any tasks that I should need in everyday use, but obviously if you're more of, a, of an outdoorsy guy, you should probably get uh, a secondary knife if you plan on using it like an insane amount, you know, abusing the knife. So, yep, Leatherman Wave, it's a great tool. Um, I got on clearance for like 75 bucks, so it was a steal. Um, I do carry a Zippo. Um, I'm not a smoker or anything. Um, it's, uh, I do burn incense um, every day, so that's you know mostly what I use it for. Um, but it's mostly a fidget toy. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I love fidgeting uh, with Zippo lighters. It's super, super fun. I love the sound, the click, everything about it. Um, I just love Zippo lighters. So, um, and uh, the reason I like Zippo lighters is first of all, they're made in the USA, which I super duper love. And uh, they're kind of like something you have to take care of. Like you have to, you know, replace the wick, you have to put lighter fluid in it, you have to replace the cotton balls and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I like, um, I like Zippos and they're windproof too. So that's why I like them too. There's that. 
Uh, so the next thing I carry is a uh, lip balm or, you know, chapstick. Um, and I used to carry Burt's Bees, and the reason I don't anymore is because the cap on Burt's Bees is not a screw-on like Carmex. It actually is just a, you know, you pull it off, put it back on, and for some reason, when it's in my pocket, the lid always comes off and gets chapstick all inside my pocket. So I switched to Carmex because simply it has that screw-off top. So that's why I go with Carmex. Uh, they say that Carmex is better for your lips. Um, I'm not, I'm not a big scientist or whatever, so I'm not, I can't, you know, agree to that, but whatever. Um, Carmex is good at unchaps my lips. That's really all I care about. Um, and the screw off lid makes it so I don't get chapstick all inside my pockets. And then last but not least, we have my wallet. Uh, I'm not going to turn it around because my ID is there, but I'll show it to you from all sides besides the front. I'll give you a little glimpse right there, but um, this is from Saddleback Leather. This is their, uh, I think it's called the five card pocket ID wallet and the ID goes up here. Um, and then you got two cards back here, a spot for cash and cards and then another spot. So I keep coupons in here, my ID up here. I keep like four or five cards up here, two cards here and some cash in there. But this thing is super, super good quality. Like the leather has aged beautifully. Um, it's super soft now, it's not, uh, you know, when you first get it, the leather is very rough, you know, but once you use it, it starts to get that patina on it, and now it looks freaking awesome. Um, so, uh, and Saddleback actually sent me this, uh, this wallet for a review, so look forward to that, that's going to be coming out soon. Um, so just a super, super nice wallet, uh, um, you know, all the way around. I'm going to cover up my ID here. But as you can see, it's just patinaed really nice all around my ID. It just looks super, super good. Um, and I love this, whoa. That was a weird color change. It went purple, um, but yeah. So super super nice wallet. Um, I think it's like a, I think it's like fifty or forty fifty bucks um, on Saddleback's website. Um, but I will have this linked. I will have this 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 this. this. I'll have everything linked in the description. Whoa! If you want to go check them out, um, I'll link Amazon because that's probably the easiest. Everyone shops on Amazon now. Um, but yeah, so that's my EDC. Uh, I will do an update in uh, probably June, July, or August, uh, sometime in the summer, because uh, I do change my EDC then. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Zisbevid signing out. Peace.